Hey YouTube, uh, this is Sun Jupiter here, here to do a review of my Mac Mini. It's been about two and a half months since I've had it right now, uh, so I'm here to do a review of it. Okay, so we're on the Apple.com uh, website right now. So just to show you some of the key features, so it has a, a five times faster graphics processor. Uh, you could, it comes with a 120 gig hard drive, your choice. Uh, if you get it from Apple, the Apple Store, uh, it's 120 gig or a 320 gig. So I'm sure you can go higher than that if you just open it up and slap a 500 gig hard drive in there. It's a, it's just a laptop hard drive, so I'm sure you could do that if you want to do that. Uh, so and you could have up to four gigs of memory up in there it comes with one gig of memory uh i have the the early 09 model so it's one gig memory and it comes with a, a 2.0 intel intel core 2 duo processor uh with the front side bus is 1600 megahertz no 1000 1066 megahertz just to be clear uh, you got um, three megabytes of uh, L2 cache uh, and all that good stuff. It's good on energy. Apple promote the energy that it's the it's the uh, smallest and cleanest Mac ever. So okay, it doesn't come with a keyboard or mouse. Um, some people might think that's a big deal, but if you already have a USB mouse or keyboard you should be good to go uh, you could either hook this up to a monitor or a TV so I have mine hooked up to my uh, HD TV right now using a, a mini DVI to DVI cable and then um, DVI to HDMI cable so it sounds complicated but it's not Okay, so let's go over the ports. Uh, we got five USB ports, which comes in handy. You really don't need a hub when you have five ports, unless you have more than five different H, uh, USB, you know, devices. Then you need a hub. Uh, you got your headphone jack right here. It also doubles as a optical out, so you need a little mini optical adapter for your opt optical cable. I wish I grabbed that right now, but yeah, you just got to look that up on YouTube and, or yeah, YouTube and you should be good to go. And then your audio in, your Kingston Law lock slot right there, and you got your mini display port, you got your mini DVI port, they're going to go mini than that, I promise. Uh, you got your Firewire 800 port right here. And you got your gigabit Ethernet, and then your power, and then your power button. So that's pretty much it. Uh, at the front of the the Mac Mini, you got your little IR sensor for your remote right here. It didn't come with one though, uh, which was sad, but that's okay. I had a buddy give me give me one that he wasn't using, so. I'm good to go. You got your uh, front loading uh, super drive eight times and just some key features. Uh, Apple wants you to buy their cinema displays, although they do look great, but it's all about money. They're really expensive, but they're great. So if you have the money, buy it. Uh, you got um, wireless N, extreme N uh, wireless card in it. Uh, right now I have, I had, I, can't, I don't know if you can see that Belkin router over there. Yeah, I'm done with that. I don't even know what to do with that anymore. Uh, it's just not working correctly. So I got a, uh, Airport Extreme. Um, you can check out my, uh, my video on that. Unboxing and review. Uh, so yeah. For me, I got the Apple the Mac Mini for media purposes uh, so I got it to just run movies only I, I didn't get it to be a computer or you know a desktop computer like my iMac which I'm recording this on right now 
I got it just from Media Center. So I, I hooked up two hard drives to it, uh, uh, 500 gig and a terabyte hard drive to it, terabyte host all my movies and the 500 gig does my anime shows uh, Bleach Naruto and my TV shows like House uh, Smallville Entourage, Big Love stuff like that so it pretty much yeah, the Mac Mini is my media center uh, device um, I didn't upgrade anything on it it still has the the one gig of RAM and it still has a hundred and twenty gig hard drive in it and I have no reason to upgrade because for the hard drive no reason because it I have externals for that so I don't need to worry about that and the memory the memory don't need to upgrade I have no problems playing my videos at all uh, using Plex so and I only have one gig of memory, so it's perfect. Everything runs fine. Uh, yeah. I am thinking about replacing my desktop over there, which I use to download my movies and, and such. Uh, I think I might get another Mac Mini uh, just to run uh, Windows. Uh, maybe Boot Camp Windows, maybe. Uh, and if somebody needs to use a Mac, I could just easily switch over to the Mac version, or I'll just probably run Parallels or something like that. Uh, I don't know, but that's my plan. Buy another one, get rid of the PC that's here, get rid of it, period, throw it away or something. Um, probably get some enclosures for the drives. Uh, yeah. That's my plan, and then it's a MacBook Pro next on my list. And yeah, so I give the Mac Mini uh, a 10 out of 10 because it does exactly what I want it to do without fail. <laughs> so I had Apple TV before and it failed. So I sold it immediately and then had some more money on to that and, and got this. And it's working fine. Apple has a good product here. So, 10 out of 10. So, I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.